only one we need alive. Episode 50. Kill the rest. Damn, a people in central. Yeah, picking up right where we left off. <laughs> they were ready. You told them to kill everyone except Mustang. So that was a direct order to kill the Fuhrer's wife then? Oh, damn. That's crazy for her. Has our country betrayed him? Or is it... Has my husband chosen to abandon me? This is weird because it might push her towards them. No matter which one, I promise that we'll protect your life. Oh, no. And once the dust has settled, you can be the one to tell our country that we were always on their side. Wow, Mrs. Bradley becoming a player. Everyone's important. Everyone's important. Except for Yoki. Be glad that we're not from Briggs. This would be a kill shot. What? They sent in a whole battalion. You sure are popular, Colonel. Yeah, they respect Roy Mustang. Damn. Well, why the hell aren't they dead yet? It can't be that hard. They've only got five men. They're not ordinary men. We have 59 men injured, zero casualties. <laughs> zero. That's awesome. Man, how my opinions of Roy have changed. Remember that time he, he killed Ross? <laughs> All of his explosions have been pretty tame. <laughs> He's trying to spare your lives, you fools. Hey, Jeff, parking. Damn, that blew my ears rum. What's the toll? Five wounded, but none dead. It's a miracle no one's been killed so far. It's intentional. They're mocking us. Sit That's not it. Dimitri and Kim's quad. I want their dead bodies stacked in front of me. Besides the actual ethical reasons for not killing them, I wonder if part of this is not them setting up some kind of narrative they're trying to they're trying to form. This is their move, right? And they're going to need support at some point. We don't really see much from the citizens of Amestris, except for snapshots of their daily lives, I'd say. We don't really see their feelings or connections to the big picture and to the, into politics. But Roy talked about Mrs. Bradley telling her story. And so maybe them not killing the soldiers is connected to like a general image they're trying to create of them actually being for Amestris, trying to help Amestris. And I want it done now! These leaders are also terrible. They still have an apprehended Mustang? I'm convinced, this is total headcanon for me now, that they deliberately pick the worst people so they can control them, or so they're non-threats. Look at this guy, he's awful. Raven was similar. Raven couldn't control his, uh, his hands. He was a little bit handsy, a lot handsy. Ended up in concrete. None of them seem very competent or useful. They're all just pawns, speaking of chess. Colonel Mustang must have gone soft. Obviously. <laughs> he can't possibly she would say that. think this will work. If there's one thing softer than Mustang, it's the men under your command. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you let me step in and take command of a battalion? Ooh. Have you forgotten idea. why you're here, Armstrong? Holding you here as our prisoner helps to ensure that the soldiers of Briggs won't take it upon themselves to stage a coup d'etat. <laughs> you don't understand a single thing about the resolve of my troops. <sighs> Your plan is useless. That's true, the they would attack. The the men of Briggs know is survival of the fittest. They know to abandon me if confronted this with a music. crisis. This music. Even if you were to murder me in cold blood, my troops would simply write me off for being too weak. This is terrifying. Don't even begin to assume that you know the soldiers I've trained. If you're this guy, how do you feel right now? Besides terrified. Let's tear the throats out of any spineless fool that tries to get in our way. <laughs> And here they come. Every single one of my men is capable of defeating a grizzly bear in combat. <laughs> I, I believe if it. your dolls are as strong as my men. What do you think? They're not, and they know it. <laughs> well, it's looking like this is the end of Central, as far as I'm concerned. You got Roy Mustang and you got the soldiers of Briggs under Armstrong. One thing I haven't really talked about, but I think is probably going to become a thing, is... It's not necessarily a good thing that Central falls because it might create a power vacuum. It was confirmed to me that in that scene where we hear Grumman's voice talking about plans to swoop in, that that was actually Grumman thinking and not Miles projecting for him. So it seems like there are going to be people who are for the demise of Central and Bradley who are not friends. You know, they may be allies now, but there are threats all around. In the show, we hope that Roy Mustang will end up in power and then he'll do the right thing, right? But who knows? First of all, who knows if he'll even come into power? But secondly, in real life, let's say, who knows that Roy Mustang actually will be able to rule well and won't fall into the same temptations of leadership and being a ruler. Or that one of his associates won't just simply take him out. Or, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? There's temptations all around. It's a weird set of incentives when you're that close to the throne. But that being said, Roy Mustang and crew, combined with the Briggs crew, it's not looking good for these chumps. These officer chumps. But we also got the homunculi. That's impossible! 
father, etc. Well, are they using sorcery or something? Find out what's going on. What's their head count? We're not sure. Although, going by their gear, it looks like they're from the north. They're from Briggs. <laughs> oh, they don't care about killing, do they? <laughs> the Armstrong Mansion? Yeah. We used renovation trucks to sneak everyone in and hit the entire battalion. So that's what that conversation was about. Serious? Just how big is this mansion? They got a lot of pianos. If it comes down to it, just leave me behind. Roger, Roger that. that. You could at least that was very fast. Like you're willing to die by my side. Yeah. I'm fighting to live, not die. And I'd rather die by my wife's side. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Riza! It's about time, Rebecca. <laughs> I know, sorry. But I think you'll find it was worth the wait. I've got all sorts of goodies. Oh, I love this ice cream truck set up. We're setting munitions now, guys. You're a goddess, Rebecca! I love you! Hey, zip it! You're not allowed to flirt with me unless you've got money. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. It's good to see you, Colonel. It's been a long time, huh? Hmm? Yes! I was hoping Second she'd come back. Hell yeah. Returning to active Damn, that feels good. Sir. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Little do they know. The colonel's restraining himself since we're in the city. Ah, oh, jeez. I came all the way to Central to That's find That's true. There's civilian man, casualties, too. A bunch of sissies. I kind of like Rebecca. She's really, really honest. And this patriotic music. I didn't know you were involved in this. Not that I'm complaining. But I do have to ask, where did you procure all these weapons? And who did you go through to get she them? She did go to Shane, right? asked who? I'll let him tell you. This is Colonel Roy Mustang speaking. I'm honored to have your support. <laughs> Man, whose ass do you think you're kissing? <laughs> I'd prefer it if we kept things casual, Colonel. Over 80 years in business, there he is. we offer everything you could possibly need. From underwear to arms, and we're just a phone call away. This is Havix, your neighborhood general store. Gene Havix. I knew he was going to be useful. <laughs> so, who do I Still dedicated to? to the cause. The office of the Fuhrer. And start a tap. <laughs> Such a great line to end that scene. Man, that scene was gratifying. There's been a lot of payoffs lately, like with all the characters coming together, all the people we know, becoming a connected network for a common purpose. But that was really special. The Ross appearance was amazing. It's funny because I just said that, right? I was just saying as a joke, remember that time that Roy Mustang killed Ross? And here she is. It's great to see that kind of thing happening to Ed and Al when their good actions carry through the world and lead to people relying on them. There's something different but special about it happening for Roy Mustang because we've always known that Ed and Al are great, right? They're just great kids. Roy has been sort of a shadier character, at least initially. And his motives are somewhat questionable, but he's so convicted. The way that he's able to inspire loyalty is great. And it feels real. Like, Roy Mustang is someone you want to follow. Because beneath it all, beneath the cold exterior and all the codes and the fake womanizing, or maybe real womanizing, who knows, he does actually really care. Like, it does feel connected to, to good things. What I like about that is it doesn't need to be explicit. He doesn't need to be so outward with his emotions. He leads by example. And people are smart. You know, we're all pretty smart in our way about reading people, especially if we have a lot of exposure to them. And so it's nice to see, like, Roy's commitment to that, commitment to his process, pay off in that way, where it actually inspires great action. It's such a triumphant scene all around. And the Ross Havoc combo is a nice one-two punch of people that Roy actually has looked out for, going out of his way to look out for. Full Metal Alchemist. Maria Ross, Gene Havoc, nice card. There's smoke rising from within the city, and I could faintly hear a siren as well. Things are going down. It started. It's safe to say the Colonel and the Briggs troops have made their move. Making big Seems moves. Be in complete chaos by now. Yep. And the sun is moving. He might have gotten too big for his old one, but he's still inside a flask. And if we destroy his container, we might be able to kill him. But what exactly is this container? Is it just his body? Yogi, I think you should stay behind as well. Fight with me. I hope Yogi actually does something. But yeah, that's right. They can use a tunnel now because Pride's gone or Pride's contained. Hey, Al. What is it, brother? We're heading out now, and we're gonna kick that bearded bastard's ass. Just be careful. Right. It's really weird having Al in here this whole time. And Pride is working on something with this helmet. This is not gonna be how it goes down. Like, Pride's not gonna be in here the whole time. Call off your soldiers right now! 
You strip me of my command of the Briggs soldiers, remember? Why, you? Do you really think you can get away with this? I'd like to ask you the same question for what you're doing. This father guy must have told you his plans. All that he intends to sacrifice and what he gets from it. Sure, of course he told me. The select few of us that he's chosen will right. ascend to even greater heights. Right. And the nation of sure. Amistris will change the world. And All you're one of the, the select few, of course. Are an unavoidable part of it. Even though this is highly fictional, right, this whole thing, I think about this exact thing sometimes. Not to be too cynical about politics as a process, because I think it's important, but I think there's something similar that happens with politics that happens with sports. Like, sometimes when people watch sports, they say, like, we won, right? But actually, there was no there was no individual or personal winning involved. It was like the team played and you watched it. I feel like the same mistake happens in politics that this guy is making, where people want to vote the right people in power, but there's sort of this mistake that that involves them somehow. There is some form, at least a small degree of over-identification in politics in that way. Even if it's at a much smaller scale, there's the same kind of delusion that this guy's having where it's like, I'm one of the chosen ones, right? But politics happen, leaders come into power, and then who knows what happens to the average person. We place a lot of faith that we're going to be along for the ride when you never really know what will happen. You never really know what policies will come into place, and you never know what decisions will be made, but you do know that you will probably not be involved in that process. More generally, I think we want to be important. I think we want to attach ourselves to things that we aspire to without actually directly being involved. Why don't you understand that? You bastards are beyond hopeless. What? Whoa! She loves, like, arm stabbing. You scum sit back and safely watch the battlefield as if it were some kind of spectator sport. You don't know anything about sacrifice, and yet you're the first to talk about its necessity. You're betraying your country. You think so. She doesn't Our see it that way. Our country could very well regard me as a hero once this is all over. Yeah, what is However, a country anyway? Is it the government? I'm still not as merciful as our celebrated hero of Ishval. No, wait! <laughs> oh, damn! What happened to no killing? That was really graphic. It's great to see the differences between Roy Mustang and his crew, and Armstrong and, and her crew. She gives no Fs. You're weak, you die. No remorse. We had all this stuff about, like, Ed. I refuse to kill. I'm willing to die for my beliefs. Armstrong's like, take this bullet to the face. This cast of characters, <laughs> you get it all. You get all of it. I apologize for excessively mentioning Metal Gear Solid, but she's kind of like Big Boss. I feel like she would create Outer Heaven or like this place where soldiers can just be soldiers and that is the ultimate morality or something like that. He's dead. Yes, he's very dead. And this guy's not doing so well either. <laughs> that face. I wonder, uh, I wonder if she's dedicated to the cause. Hey, look who it is. He's wearing a lot of clothing. Colonel Mustang and his former subordinates have chosen the path of dissidents. They're mm. attempting to flee with the Fuhrer's wife as their hostage. What? Interesting moment for Armstrong, Indeed, Alex Armstrong. Coward. First he murdered Lieutenant Ross, and now he's kidnapped the Fuhrer's Oh, wife. you don't know still? The man has Dude. got to be pure evil! Tell him, Armstrong. Major, I have just received word that General Armstrong shot and killed General Gardner at Central Command. <clears throat> she killed him? She really did. It's impossible to trace him with this enormous presence underground interfering. Wait. It feels like the presence has somehow tripled in size since yesterday. Uh-oh, what's he up to? He's trying to find the right tone or something? What is this, Morse code? Wow. Interesting strategy. Al I'm a state alchemist. Wait, what was that? You said you're a state alchemist? I need you to help me. Scar is trying to kill me! <laughs> that guy's on the wanted list! Hands up! <laughs> that was a mean thing to do. Ah, oh, shut up. Come on. <laughs> Imagine talking to your father like that. Found it! Of course, there's a skull on the door. Great taste, as always. My alchemy is a little unique, so I'll be fine on my own. On second thought, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a bodyguard, so I might as well take the young lady with me. Is this flirting? Are we flirting? Are you sure that you're gonna be okay with just the two of you? Of course, I prefer it this way. I'd rather keep the young lady's company for myself than share with a lot of you. This is flirting. Not very good flirting, though. Pervy old man. Yeah. Let's go. I guess everyone has a love interest for Hohenheim. To answer my earlier question. Go find him. 
but I... You don't need to worry about us. You care deeply about him, don't you? I like how Hohenheim put on that flirty front for everyone else, but then was secretly very sincere. He can handle himself. What a pathetic excuse for an army. They can't even handle those Briggs mountain monkeys. Please, sir, don't! We still haven't finished the soul bonding tests. Shut up! Oh, is he gonna release the, uh, the zombie army? This is the exact kind of situation we worked so hard to make them for! I feel like you don't know what you're unleashing, though. Treacherous rebels a lesson. Since you're expendable. Here we go. These are things we can kill without feeling guilty. Oh, what the heck? This episode just gets shorter and shorter. <laughs> Damn, that is how you kick off this whole thing. What a great start. Everybody is here and converging on a central point. My palms are a little sweaty. There's so many great moments in this episode. I think one of my favorites is just the Ross reveal. That made me feel so good. Followed closely by the Havoc reveal. Man, Roy Mustang. My impression of him, my feelings about him have changed so dramatically over time, as they have with a lot of characters. I think that's just sort of what the show is good at. And then also the scene with Armstrong was amazing. In principle, I like to talk about Ed and idealism and, you know, the right people making the change. I gotta admit, it's so gratifying <laughs> seeing Armstrong just ice those soldiers. And even though I think on some level it's wrong, there's something so powerful about her character and her conviction and her unwaveringness. She's just so badass. It's almost like her willpower and charisma is stronger than any of my ideals. <laughs> I feel like you could sort of overcome anything. Anything anybody does with that much conviction and with that much power. The bullet to the head was so shocking. <laughs> the show's not that violent, really. I mean, there's a lot of fighting, but it's rarely that graphic. That was cold. That was just super cold-blooded. I still can't believe it. But yeah, overall, it's a lot of fun. One question I have going forward is where will Alex Louise Armstrong fall? I mean, I'm pretty sure I know roughly where he'll fall, but I want to see how he gets there because he seems not to really be on board right now. And the other question is, what is Father working on beyond the obvious of just like setting up for this big thing? Because they said his, his thing tripled in power, right? But that's the end of episode 50. Can't wait to see what happens as we continue this final confrontation. Yeah.